everybody welcome back to another create tutorial today we're going to go over some more layer styles and today it's going to be the glow options so as always go to your layer that you want to apply this to right click and go to layer style and it's going to be right under the shadow so i'm just going to kind of minimize this a little bit so we can have an easier look at this so we're going to do the outer glow it does exactly what it says it's going to give a glow to the outside of the artwork on that layer. You can kind of see it around the edge of the bats here. It's very subtle. Just like the shadow, you can change the blend mode. So if you wanted to give like a certain color or a hue, you could do that when you change it. The opacity, if you want to make it more opaque, you could do that. It's pretty subtle right now, so it's not going to be very noticeable. But if I make this down to 60, it, it's a little harder to see versus 100, it gets a little brighter. Let's put it back there. You can add some noise to it, so it kind of adds like a pixely effect. Again, you can't see it right now because it's pretty small. So we'll just put that down to zero. Before I continue, I want to actually make this a little bigger so we can see it a lot easier. There we go. So we want to add that noise back in and see this noise effect around all of this. The bats are on a separate layer, that's why they don't, or the, the black bats are on a separate layer, so that's why they have no glow. Just to know, in case you're wondering why that's not doing anything. So you can also add a gradient to the glow. We're actually going to turn the noise off. So because this is on linear dodge, it's not giving the exact gradient effect that the shadow might have. So if you change this down to, where is it, normal, you can see the colors coming in at the edge here, the blues popping up a little bit better. You can actually increase the size and increase the opacity to see that even more. But if we could put this back down in linear dodge, you can see it kind of burns it a little bit, it brightens it, but it still has a really interesting effect. I'm just going to go to solid color and change that just like you can with the shadow. So if you want to make that a turquoise color, we'll actually brighten that. You can. It has a nice little bit of color in there. So for the technique, you can increase the spread. So it's going to make the glow more intense by having it spread um, further out from the edge of the artwork or the content or whatever you want to call it. So right now it's on softer. There's a very subtle difference that I've seen between precise and softer. So this is going to have a tighter um, glow to it. This is just going to have more of a softer look. So for the quality, the contour isn't implemented yet, but you can add some jitter. I'm going to actually reduce the range. There we go. So this is actually a really neat effect. It has like a glowy neon look to it. So by reducing the range, by adding some more jitter, it has this really cool effect to it. It's kind of like um, a liquef liquefied look to it. Really cool. So if we increase that, it might not work because my glow isn't very big. Let's actually increase the range has a little bit on the edge, so not quite there. We can decrease it. There we go. All right. Now it's completely crazy. <laughs> but that's the outer glow. So I have, just like the, uh, um, the shadow options, you have quite a number of tools and settings to change to get a really interesting, unique look to your work without destroying it. So we're going to turn that off. And we're going to go to inner glow. It's pretty much the same thing, only it's going to be on the inside. So if I increase the size, it's adding a glow on the inside of the color here. So if I wanted to make maybe a slight color glow from outside, maybe I just want like something subtle. I actually use not purple. We'll use a light blue. Light OK. There we go, we'll change the opacity. You can kind of see it more on the black one here, not so much here. 
but it has a really nice soft inner glow and it's blue and it has a really neat look i actually really like that I'm not sure if i would keep it for the final product for this but it's pretty cool so it kind of adds a little bit more to your work if you're doing some interesting special effects in your work or maybe you just want something fun to play with you can add the gradients just like with the other options so we'll add this crazy rainbow one it looks pretty psychedelic you can add the noise you can change the opacity you can change the blend mode of course here's what overlay looks like Ooh, it's pretty subtle not really Take the noise down. Oh, that looks pretty cool. It reminds me of um, those hard candies back in the day where it was like multicolored on the inside. <laughs> We're gonna keep that. And then the same thing here with the elements, you have the softer and precise. Now you do have a source, which is center or edge. So you want it to come from the, the inside of the artwork, like right here. This is where it's gonna originate. And then it'll spread out from there, or you can have it go from basically the outside end, which is around the edge. Either or. So the choke is just going to kind of like tighten that up a little bit for you. So if you want to push that for more. There we go. So it's going to make everything tighter on the inside there. Or push it back out from the edge more. This is really cool. This is like a chocolate factory tunnel psychedelic. <laughs> and obviously the size. And then, oh, we're just want to make that bigger. You reduce the range and then add some jitter. Look at that. It's pretty interesting. We're actually going to reduce the jitter. And that's pretty much it. Same options for the most part as the glow or the shadow, but this time it just makes a glow. All right, so that's pretty much it for the glow options for the layer styles. If you have any questions on these, make sure to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you want me to talk about anything else in Krita, let me know as well. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can and to answer it to the best of my ability. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.